Hi y'all, Abe here, and welcome back to the channel. Here's hoping you and yours are doing well. We are back here playing the Outer Worlds. Uh, we just entered... Well, I'm not sure what we entered. This place here. But, uh, anyway, let's, let's progress. Let's see, let's see what we can see. Oh, there's robots. Hide, hide. What's down here? Okay, this is... Oh, come on. 27 out of 30. I'm not sure what that means for us. Breath inhaling? Okay. Stimulation thing. Okay. 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 What else we got here? Well, I don't want to use up my, uh... Oh, what does this do for us? Oh, no, no, no. Do I, I don't want to use that there. I want to use it here. Can I use it here? I cannot. Boo. Use terminal. Unlock door. That's easier enough. Warning, this facility is a, a state unlocked. Authorization passcode required. Oh. Um... I don't know what the password is. Is it in any of these things that I picked up? Let me see. Quest. Codex. Uh, optional speak to the vicar. Divert power from the geothermal plant. You enter the geothermal plant without first speaking to Adeline. If you divert power to Edgewater without giving her a fair warning, she's going to be upset. Oh. So that's this is now where I should go. So I should go speak with Adeline first. All right, so I can actually go back then. So let me go back and rectify matters. Uh, let me let me do that. Uh, if I if I can, I already marked it off as an X, so it almost makes it sound like I don't have a choice anymore. But we shall see. Let's go and find out. All right, so head back to Edgewater and the bio lab. Where is that? Let's um, let me re let, let me see if I can salvage this quest line. I had no idea they sort of interjected each other there. <clears throat> you guys got anything worth taking? Ooh. That's fine. Um, there was a way, yes, there was a way out of here. Right this way. Let's duck. Let's come back up. Let's head back to town. Where is town again? I think town is this way. If memory serves. Well, let me go ahead and get back to... Divert power from the... You've learned that there are power regulators. Okay, where is... Let's do that again, and let's head back to town. Okay, let's head back to town. <laughs> Let me see, people. Don't do as I do. Don't do as I do. <laughs> Hope I can salvage that quest. There are critters here, are there not? Oh, there were. Can I go up this little thing here or no? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, this is the place. Botanical lab, right? Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. You're about to get trouble right. <laughs> I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. What's your problem? Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. Mm. You obviously run a type shit. 
You want to try standing outside in the heat, keeping your sights open for the next Marauder raid? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago, just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. <laughs> Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around in her room? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the mm. fuss was about. Maybe the Marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why Marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. You seem so personable. Can't imagine how you didn't get along with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Let's change the subject. What is it? Uh, I'll leave you be. All right, so... Personable as you are, Dolan, I am going to head on out here and speak to Adelaide. Ourselves a little town here. This looks like I did salvage the quest. Is that her? That is her indeed. Madam? Oh, gosh. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down, and I'll fetch you a poultice. Oh. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? A few. Yeah. What's that smell? That'd be the garden, dear. <laughs> you're standing in a garden. Also fertilizer, so mind your mm -hmm. boots. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Mm. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Oh, man. If ever I was going to have some tobacco tea, i definitely want to brew it in an old spittoon, without a doubt. That is the way to go there. Uh, is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. Oh, dear. I'm surprised you've managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. <laughs> Looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. Hmm. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Huh. Poetry notwithstanding. Hold on, you guys can fly? My goodness. 
All right, you just charming. <laughs> Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Hmm, let's see. You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the That's about it. Reed asks that you consider coming back to town. He's going to make amends. Something about coming back into town and not losing power. I wasn't really... Was... Reed asks that you consider coming back to town. He is willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it for my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the hmm. grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero would do that, but I'm no hero. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but... He was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Huh. Interesting. And so it begins. Do we help Edgewater? Until we help this botanical place. I don't know. I kind of like this botanical place, to be honest. But I don't know if I want the wrath of whatever corporate entity uh, might come after me because of doing this thing to Edgewater. Or maybe I do want the wrath. Who knows? You know what? Maybe I'll just make a decision right on the spot. Let me, uh, let me get out of here for a second. Oh, what's this? Can't take it. Oh, look at this place. Ooh, there's a little ship up there. Nice. What's in here? Awesome. Just looking through some shit. Ooh. Yep, can't steal it. So what are your thoughts on all this there, girl? Something you need? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. I like a drink now and again. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Hmm. Huh. You're very sensitive, aren't you? Am I? Well, it's just normal to me. Why isn't everybody else, I wonder? Let's get back to it. 
Alright, so... Oh! What? What is... Okay, got some critters here. Um, alright, let's, uh... Oh, this is... Was this here before? Can I use this terminal? Emerald Valley Botanical Lab and Experimental Facility Personnel Files. Hack 10 Bypass. Does that mean I have it or I don't have it? Hack to used. Okay. Open first entry. Personnel Files first entry. May the Eternal bless my first... May the Eternal bless my first endeavor? Okay. The Eternal. Okay, that's, their, that's the deity. May the Eternal bless my first endeavor. It's been two days since I walked away from life at the Edgewater Cannery. Fortuitously, the old botanical labs are still operational. Mostly the soil's sour. I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need some powerful fertilizer. Tired of having the taste of saltuna lingering in my tongue day in, day out. I want something fresh, something that grows out of the earth. Okay, open the last entry. Personnel files, last entry. We found another worker from Edgewater, ex-worker now. Desertion rates must be clamming. I'm not terribly surprised. Reed's style of management has always been tyrannical. I imagine an exodus is brewing. At any rate, the worker was in a sorry state. Fever, shallow, uh, no, fever, shallow breathing, delirious, must have been plagued. I set him right with the diet of greens. He was all better in a couple of weeks, physically, spiritually. He's one of our flock now. Oh, so this... Can heal what's his name? Experimental notes. Open first entry. I am hereby repurposing this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the soulless automation of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spaces Choice products, it is cheap and unreliable. I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understand that the Horticulturalists failed to produce a single viable crop, something about the soil being too poor. I am determined to find a way. May the eternal smile upon my endeavors. Indeed. Experimental notes. Last entry. Flora are living things, as sensitive to the environment as any breathing, thinking body. I contend that the crops in this region failed because the corporate scientists tending to them are cold, heartless, inhumane people acting on behalf of sterile and inhumane power. One cannot expect your crops to flush with green and reach for the sky under these conditions. The soil is sour. The soil is sour, it's true. I don't know quite how to explain that. I'm sure the scientists will say something about biology or the carbon cycle. But I can conclude after months of my own experimentation that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention, compassion, and a natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as nature intended. Hmm. Interesting things, interesting things. Uh, what else is around here? I don't know, I kind of like this place. Wouldn't want to screw it all up. Let me see here. Geothermal master control system. What does this do? Oh, no, that's that's over there. Okay. Uh, what else do we have on the journal side? So I delivered the message. I spoke with her. You entered. Okay, went to the plant. It still give me an X down there, which is kind of sucky. Strange and a strange end. What was this about? This is diverting the power plant. This is Reed also. Die Robot. This is also the thermal plant. If you, this is Serge Zoe's Homes for Clues. The Long Tomorrow to the Cache of Medicine. Abernathy is dying. Okay, so let's do the Kindred Spirits. And collect consciousness. Okay, so I have to do... Alright, let's do these. this one that's in this area. Yep, it's right here. Let's go ahead and bang that out. What's your deal, dude? Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? 
I'm told of your numbers. I told one of your numbers has gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened the day that Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Hmm. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up Indeed. for her. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. <laughs> Hold on. There was something else. Hey, I got time. What are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors, okay? Uh-huh, armoring. What do I have? I have 120. I'm not exactly rolling in the dough, am I? Let's see, what can I sell? Can I sell anything here? I have a couple of these guns. And that is a level 6 gun that I can use later. Um, laboratory outfit. What is my art? Hold on. What is my armor situation at this point? Oops. Okay, so it's a level 3. Tech skills plus 5. Is this the only other piece of armor I have? Yeah, test skills plus five. Test skills plus five. Don't say I care for that one. It's level three, it's level three. This is a level five. This one's already at 79%. They both have the same tech skills. What does the light mean? It says light, armor type light, okay. This says armor type, doesn't say anything. It's a level 5 and I'm a level 3. So let me stick with the hibernation suit. <laughs> hibernation suit with all the tubes and shit. Goodness. Alright, so... Where... Well, oh wait, there was... A, you have more info for me, dude? What do you have for me? You hungry? We got canid ribs. Canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? Got some more questions about Zoe. I'll help if I can. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Huh. See you around. Okay, so that's a thing. Let's go ahead to Zoe's house. Let's take a quick look see in here. Let's see what we can see. What do we got here? Well, today's the day. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I'll be listening to Grace talk about the marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of the barrels of fire. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adeline's food, and I've got some spare cans of saltuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even marauders, right? I got odds those marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes and of Adrena time before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. 
I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my beck and call, and maybe I can even score some Rizzo's. Hmm. Delusions of grandeur much? She wants to become a terrorist. Whoa, what's this one? So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more canary. No, more, I'm sorry. No more cannery. <laughs> no more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Uh, because I've always hated the canary, the cannery, and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this general many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate that vow. Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and grabbed a little too much of Adrena time. Is that really all crime? Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal pr responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Adrena time's a thing. And... Okay. Ooh. This looks cool. Steal the poster. What am I going to do with the poster? Will you... Uh, I'll come back and steal it if she turns out to be a baddie. Or if she's dead. Oh, there's a chicken there. Right on. Oh, there was a chicken there? Hold on. Come here. He beat you up real quick. <laughs> I just whacked that chicken with this thing. <laughs> awesome <laughs> oh man that was great that was great that's great okay so uh let's see here <laughs> whack it with this thing it's awesome all right so looks like I don't know. Whoa, what's what's uh what's going on? Zoe's out there somewhere, huh? Whoa. You hiding! Oh, crap. Oh shit. Let me switch weapons. Whoa. Take some cover. Oh! Do I have a metal weapon here? Okay. Okay. Alright, so he is toast. Very nice. Whoa. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> I died. Uh... Alright, we looked at this already. Let's back out and let's move on. Let's move over here. Oh, and the chicken's back up. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Just whacking away at the chicken. It's okay, let's go. Uh right, let's <laughs> That's so great. Chicken whacking, it's awesome. Let me see here. Right here. 
Get him down, girl. Nice. Thank you. Let's go ahead and smack this dude in the back of the face. You backing away from me, dude? Get out of here. Who else? Everyone all right? Oh, you got him. Nice. Do we have the loot? Wait, this guy had a rifle, didn't he? Where is this guy? There was a guy here who had a rifle. Or was I imagining that? Um, is this guy hiding from me now? Am I too far? What, what? Where is he? Hold on a sec. Hold on, people. Don't yell at me. Your moron is to your left. Your other left. Okay. Jeez. You gotta be so aggressive. Why you gotta be so aggressive? Alright, so I guess these guys do not have the rifles I'm looking for. Wait, I need to find like a piece, like a hand to get the wet. Come on now. That's just crazy. Oh, here it is. Here's the rifle. Okay. So, let's see how this is going to work out. Let's put the rifle up here. Yeah, okay. That's good. And we have a whole bunch of these things. How do I know what's the condition of these weapons? Oh, this weapon is whack. Okay, I see what's happening here. So this has to... I need to replace this weapon with... Let's put that bad boy up there. Let's repair... Let's take this one out. Let's repair... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's take this out. Um... Repair. Swap. Okay. Let's break down. It's not letting me break it down, so I don't... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it. Fuck it. Let's leave it there, I suppose. Um... Alright, so right now I want to get these people. Okay, here we go. Oh crap, they're all coming. Yep. Let them come to us. They're freaking all over there. Get her done, girl. Level four. Yes, indeed. Nope. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. What have we got here? We got nothing? Nope, nope, nope. Hey, Zoe. Wow, 
You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Well, I'm pretty confused right now. Hey, me too. But mostly because I just had my second dose of Adrena time. I am so completely addled right now. Indeed. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Hmm. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. You should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Mm. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How did you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Hmm. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. <laughs> oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Clearly. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I'll be back. Why will I be back? Why will I be back? Did you give me a quest? I'll be back. Skill perks available. All right. So these little icons under here now shows armor. My, in the middle of the screen at the bottom there, so I'm guessing that just means that my the armor is sucking and I need to fix it or get it replaced, but that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here for now, folks. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Abe. Catch you on the next one.